Okay, so this is going to be uh, another video on the Edgar API series. On um, this one, we're going to be renaming all the statements. So in the last video, we got the statement and parsed through it, the last couple of videos. Uh, so in this one, we're just going to be renaming the statements. So to do that, we just need two quick little functions. Um, I'm going to get the label dictionary from the facts data frame, or the facts endpoint, and then use that to rename all the gap tags. So there's one little problem with this. Uh, it's not going to uh, rename everything. There's going to be some company-specific tags that it won't work with, but I found this to work more frequently. I guess work for more uh, of the statements than just using uh, the labels uh, from the balance sheet. It's more consistent, I would say. Uh, so for this, we're just going to import all our Edgar functions. We're also gonna import our headers. And then we're gonna set our ticker. Yikes. If you haven't noticed so far, I cannot type. Uh, so we're gonna first go through this uh, get label dictionary. So what this does is it gets the facts endpoint using our get facts function that we set up earlier. And then it gets the US gap data. So it goes through the, the JSON file and goes to the facts and then US gap point. And then it extracts the labels. So it uses a Lambda function. Well, I guess, no, it doesn't. So to get this, it goes uh, for the facts and details and US gap items. So it takes every gap fact then pulls the label from it. Because if you remember, we have the label, the description, and then the fact for each of these. So this, we're just pulling the label and then creating a labeled dictionary for each fact. So then this uh, rename statement takes the statement and then the label dictionary. Then it uh, maps the label dictionary, splits the, the um, underscore out, and then takes the second part of that and then it returns the statement. So it does that for every fact in the, the label dictionary. So if you remember, in the facts endpoint, it doesn't have the US gap tag in it, but in our balance sheet, uh, it does. So to do this, we're just gonna set the label dictionary equal to get label dictionary, and then we're just gonna use our ticker, and then headers run that and then I guess as you can see there's all our gap tags without the US gap in front of them and then the more human readable term so next up is we need to get our just to get a random file we'll just get our accession number I'm just going to copy and paste this in it'll be a little quicker since this video is not super complicated and we've done all this before. So this, we're just getting the accession number and we're remo removing the um, dash from it so that it can work with our um, URL. And then we're going to process one statement using that accession number, which is just random accession number. We can do the first one just to make it easier if you want to go look at it. And then we'll use our rename statement function. So I'll just show you the statement first before and after, so we can get a before and after. So this is our statement before. So you can see it's got the US gap uh, tags for it. And so I guess this is a bad, oh, so like this was, William Sonoma deferred lease incentives liability non current. I didn't bother with this just because they're pretty readable as it is. This is just kind of a ease of use thing. Um, I'll just run that again. Actually, I don't know. So this is just kind of an ease of use thing. So now we can just call our rename statement function. Um, so 
statement. Then we can just use our label dictionary. And there we go. Gets us this nice, clean names. So this is just kind of the last step thing. So when you're processing all your data or you're going through these, I would stick more with the US GAAP kind of names just because it's a little more consistent because every company can have whatever they want for their labels. And some can get kind of um, long and interesting and it's very, very unique and hard to parse. So if we just do the income statement, I think there should be one. Um, maybe not. Let's see. But yeah, as you can see, works for pretty much any statement, any company. I thought there was one. Maybe not. Uh, it might be with Apple, actually. But yeah, it's basically the gist of the video. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed, drop a like. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more of this type of content. And let me know if you have any questions or any suggestions. Feel free to drop in the comments. I uh, really appreciate you watching. Thank you.